Dump it in here. Dump it into your hand and then put the drawer back so I don't have to chase those drawers down all over the house. Thanks, bud. She's licking her butt. She's what? She's well, licking her butt. You licking her spot? No, her butt. No, yeah, let's not record her licking her butt. <laughs> That's private time. Now she's you done. Need Now she's giving you the look. The look. Oh. He waggled the camera and Ada got up. What do you think? Is it greeting time? Is it? You know. If you know I did a thingy yeah, yeah. with the camera and did this and she went down, that would be ridiculous. Down, Ada, down. <gasps> You're down. <coughs> yeah, the greenies for me. You record. Hey, guys. Megwin here. Sorry, my hand blocked the camera for a sec. Okay, so we're going to get a... No, you don't talk. You just hold it. This is Ada.
all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. What are you doing, Ada? What's the plan? No, no, Do you want me to move that blankie for you? There you go. Because she's doing her soft little wine. That's her happy wine. Okay. She likes to do gentle lickies when she's happy. She's licking his pants. Well, he doesn't have any skin for her to lick. Yes, he does. He has an arm. Well, maybe there's food on his pants. <laughs> and she opened her mouth to I'm going to guess from a little, that little nibble that is, there probably is butter or something on his She's pants. She's licking it like... It's a very gentle lick. Don't lick her, yeah. Joshua. Her doesn't taste good. You're going to regret this. Well, he can make his own choices, I suppose. Um, <laughs> if you can see in his face right now. No, we love each other, Meg. When she doesn't mind, she's like, he's licking me. Probably. Yeah. Very big. Ow. Don't kick. Probably not a safe place to put your feet, bud. Buddy, put your feet down. Good morning. Going to turn on Poem's Light. Poem is Joshua Snail. For those of you who don't know, I need to get him some new fish, but his did not survive. What the heck is going on there? Oh, so he switched sides on me. It's poem. Oh, poem's down in the corner today. I did a good water change on Joshua's tank, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So today, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a test run for Megwin's birthday party in the garage. Oh my goodness, there's marbles everywhere. Okay. Just making sure we can heat it and have it relatively protected. I'll probably clean all the bathrooms today. What are your plans for today, Megwin? Cleaning your bedroom so yeah. it's ready for Grammy? I would never clean my bedroom. I know, you're gonna make me do it. <laughs> 
fine. I'll just take more stuff away because I'm tired of recleaning the same stuff. No. Well, then do it yourself. It's funny how it switches like that. That's reasonably clean right now. Well, then you shouldn't have too much to do. If you do a little bit every day, then it's never unmanageable. Oh, I should have brought my pillow back up here. I had to sleep on the couch last night. We had the big windstorms. I'm guessing it's the leftovers from the really bad... Um, tornadoes and stuff that hit in like Kentucky and Illinois and all of that. Um, we had like 50 mile per hour winds, which is pretty strong for around here, although we seem to be having more and more wind events because global warming. Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, I slept on the couch with Ada. I tried to just get her to calm down in here. But she was having none of it. Uh, so I had to just go and sleep on the couch. And she got right up on the couch and laid underneath of my feet the entire night. I think she got up to go be on the floor at about 5.30 this morning. So. I'm gonna water my couple of plants I've got in here. I've got this cactus that's in a Stroopwafel tin. And then I've got a, what we call a baby vine leaf, which is a pothos plant that came from my original pothos plant I got from a nursery that I volunteered at nursery at uh, cons the conservatory in Ohio. Okay. So what? There's a mole on my leg and it's really hurting and I think I want peroxide to make sure it's not infected. Are you sure it's a mole and not a tick? Well it's been there for years and years but it just started hurting. Oh, well then, yeah, you probably should just, you might have been picking at it without realizing it. Well, I think I want to peroxide it just in case. Okay. Usually just some cream helps out, but okay. Okay, peroxide. <laughs> here. Of course! Okay, peroxide. Well, it's probably all downstairs because you guys keep carrying it downstairs and then it never comes back up.
So it is 341. Um, the sun is starting to go down. So it's past where it's going to be blinding me in my craft room. I have edited the 11th and 12th. 12th is uploading. Kids are arguing. Situation normal. They did clean the basement, which is good. We did a dry run for Megwin's birthday party. Um, setting up the garage it was good because we tripped a circuit breaker with having both space heaters in there. But we just like moved one to being plugged in on the external to the garage um, socket. And then one using the garage power inside of the garage. And that worked great. Um, within about two hours, it was totally fine to be in there with um, my cardigan on and just jeans and a t-shirt. So, you know, everybody won't have to be bundled up, but if they're just dressed seasonally appropriate, it'll be fine. Excuse me. <clears throat> so now I am going to try to finish up the bottom ribbing um, on my skirt test knit. I'm going to read the rest of my <clears throat> book and um, then I will take Ada for her walk. I put away all of Joshua's laundry. I started the sheets, so I bought them each a set of flannel sheets for Christmas. I don't think I'm going to wrap them because I get it. They're not going to be super excited about opening sheets, but they'll be excited about having them because they love our flannel sheets. So um, I'm just going to wash and dry them and then maybe I will um, make their beds for Christmas Eve with the uh the flannel sheets i don't know it depends on how cold it is um it might not even be cold enough to use them yet but um that'll be nice for each of them to have a set and what else yeah i feel like i've just been cleaning and straightening today i'm gonna do a big batch of dates here in a little bit with like peanut butter or almond butter in the middle and then um, I cover them in chocolate it's kind of a snack that we all enjoy I just want to make like a big Ziploc bag or freezer bag size um, batch I'm trying not to use Ziploc bags actually I've switched over to um, zip top and stasher bags which are both reusable silicone bags but that size, like a gallon freezer bag, I want to fill with, um, with chocolate covered dates. And, um, that'll probably be the last thing I'll do for this evening. I need to check the kids book bags, make sure they're ready to go and just, uh, get things set up for the week. This is my last week of work and then I'm off the whole week of Christmas and um, the Friday before the week of Christmas, so the 17th. I think my mom is coming on the 17th, I believe, 16th or 17th. <clears throat> so, yeah. At some point, I'm going to make those cushion covers. I really want to do those. I'm tired of looking at the foam. But that's good. It'll motivate me to do them. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to knit now and stop battling at you. Okay, let's see how long my light holds out for. I'm so scared right now. Oh. <laughs> it's not quite sunset yet. Um, it's about 4.45. Um... So I'm trying to get out and get a walk a little bit early before dinner. So um, I knit for a little bit. I caught up on Vlogmas for Tommy. Does the Moonstone Makes podcast. And I've just started the Corner of Craft podcast. Um, so hopefully I can catch up on hers. And then I'm going to try to do Kalisha's, I think. Uh, before the end of the night. But we'll see. 
because I also want to read my book. It just depends on how the kids are doing. Joshua's having a lot of trouble with appropriate talk today. So he's telling me to be quiet constantly and being pretty rude. Um, so he keeps getting sent to timeout over and over again today. But my craft room window looks pretty. And there's a moon. Can I get the moon? There's the moon. So there's a moon. About a half moon. Yeah. It's a half moon. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen with my book. My current book. It's Freedom by Lily Archer. But two of the main characters are dead right now. They were the main couple, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Unless if they somehow get a, a resurrection spell cast upon them, which isn't a thing, as far as I know. It better not be that, oh, well, at least they're together and dead. Because I'm not into that Romeo and Juliet bullshit. I don't read books for this. I read books for happy endings. <laughs> Just so everybody knows that about me. I am a happy ending kind of person. And if the book doesn't have one, I don't want it. I don't want it. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. You just can't. <clears throat> There's not that many pages left for it to work out either. You gotta wrap it up in like 20 pages. It's not good. It's not looking good. <sighs> okay. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm just happy that I got all my footage edited and imported. I did some cleanup on my phone, so I took all of the photos off my phone and the videos off my phone. Whoa, Ada, you're going to fall down the hill there, sweetie. She's like right on the edge trying to find a place to go potty. That is like the worst possible thing to do. <laughs> gonna stick up her butt. A literal stick. Okay. She found a spot and she didn't plunge off the side so I guess she knows what she's doing. I need to call and get her annual checkup set up tomorrow with the vet. Tomorrow I get my booster shot for COVID and my booster, or sorry, my flu shot. Can I do that? No, no. It's very Blair Witch. Anyway, um, yeah, so I get my flu and COVID boosters tomorrow at 6.45. So hopefully if I do have any symptoms, um, I will be better before my mom comes to visit. And then Josh can do his the week after Christmas. So that way we staggered them a bit. So if one of us is sick, the other one as well to help take care of the kids. He didn't have any symptoms last time for either shot. I just got sick for like 24 hours. It wasn't that bad. And hopefully it won't be as bad this time. There's Ada. Hi. I'm going to flip it around. Okay. Hopefully with the leash fla flash like, excuse me, um, I won't have the weird blurriness that I had. I also have my glove in the way though. Um, so I might try to take some footage this evening while I'm making the dates. But I'm waiting to do that until Josh is done cooking dinner because we do not have a very big kitchen. And if both of us are in there actively doing things, we have to really be coordinating on who is in what space. So we don't, like, get in each other's way. Thanksgiving was fine. It was a well-orchestrated dance. Um... I mean, we've been cooking together for a long time at this point, so we're pretty good at figuring out how to move around each other. But, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna walk the pups, listen to some podcasts. Probably gonna finish up the Bonkers Romance podcast I'm listening to. The episode I'm listening to is the Sing Me to Sleep episode. 
And then I think I have a couple of Heaving Bosoms episodes to catch up on, which are both hilarious podcasts that you should check out. Um, and I want to read that book. I have a whole list of stuff I need to read from them. So I will see you guys later. Show mommy what we made. Oh, show me. But sure. Oh, buddy. Oh, God. Look. Oh, let me. I, I didn't get to see it. Dad, can we? No, done? let me see it. Hold it. Where I can. Playing your doing Legos. Oh, cool. It's like a submarine. Yes. Okay. Cool. Thank you, buddy. Oh, you need me to clean up the yes ones, not the I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. <laughs> yes, yeah. daddy. I need yeah. you to clean up for me. Oh, well, they left bowls down here. I think they're empty, but those were their chip bowls. Right. <laughs> I guess I sh we should have turned the light off before you were <laughs> changing out lights. I wonder why those were out or why they weren't working, you know? Right. I thought maybe I was just not doing the right switch. <laughs> no! It's gonna be so bright down here now. Sweet. My big strong man. <laughs> Are there more? No. Nope. No, they're also the rest of them are done. Okay. I mean that was very clever, them using these pieces of tape to pick up the beads from the bean bag that someone decided to cut open. <sighs> Joshua and scissors. Not a good combination. Okay, so I am gonna try on my um, very V neck Ragnolin. My ponytails, my pigtails are very uneven. <laughs> okay. Um, so I did put on a camisole and a bra for this part so I can see for reals how it's gonna fit. There we go. We're kind of even now. Um, and I've put it, hmm, put it into a big heap. So here it is so far, since I couldn't hold it up in the last, um, cause I was holding my camera with one hand. So now you're on my wardrobe. So this is it so far. It is a pattern by Jesse made designs. The yarn is flies and hellhounds. In pumpkin, which is the best orange ever and ever. Um, so it's a very deep raglan, and then I'll go back and you know pick up and do some stuff. So anyway, this is about where I got on my other one, and then I ended up frogging it because it was doing weird, weird pooling. I need extra. I'm also alternating skeins, so I have four skeins of yarn attached to this at the moment. All right. So it's kind of going to be hard to tell how it's fitting here because it's going to hang off my shoulders a little bit because I need to do the neckline. But so far, so good. I am almost to the smallest part of my waist, which you can't see, but it's right there. Right there. Yeah. But I'm definitely over the fullest part of my bust. I like it. I think it's good. It's good. The sleeves are going to be super loose, but that's okay. I kind of want it to be flowy kind of garment. God, my boobs look enormous right now. <laughs>
It's a messed up angle, guys. I'm sorry. They are very large, but not that large. Okay. So I may even want to do some back decreases because I feel like I have a lot of extra fabric on the back. Maybe I'll do that. The next round, maybe I can do some paired decreases in the back. Yeah, because I feel like I've got a lot of room in the back. Like a lot. It's still really big. Just funny because I did the size 40 chest. Um, yeah, but that's fine. I've only done, I've done three sets of decreases. I'm going to do one more. And I think on that extra one, I'm also going to do two decreases on the back. And then that way, when I do my waist increases back out, I won't increase on the back. I wish I had tried this on sooner because I probably would have been doing a couple of back decreases. Just, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to be nice. And then it'll smudge up a little bit when I do the neckline. It'll smudge in a little bit here. Smudge, a little smudge. Anyway, I love this color. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And it's so soft because mohair. I'm doing it with mohair and MCN. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. I love it. Okay. Anyway. Gently take it off. <sighs> Okie dokie. It's a good first fitting. I wonder if I should just do the neckline and then try it on again. Just to see how much that brings it in. But I do think I'm going to do some, like I said, back decreases. There's an Ada hair on the camera. Okay. But it is um, 7.57, so it's going to be Joshua's bedtime. It actually is past his bedtime right now. But we were changing light bulbs in the basement, and he was building Legos with Josh. So um, I'm going to get him back on track for bed. I'm going to go wash my face, brush my teeth, take my vitamins, all of the things. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for Monday and we can hang out and get COVID boosters and flu shots and it's going to be a thing. It's going to be awesome. All right.